All right, so here we are at the uh fury is ready. Nice. How convenient. Vana Boris. And we're going to ignore these guys cuz they're useless. And I'm assuming ow, are you serious, dude? There we go. That's what I was looking for. To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia uh, for this trial. In exchange for Nabors' emblems, you will be granted the chance to tree through the realm of memories. I like how it doesn't even ask. It just takes it. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lately nor dismiss it as merely as a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. So here we are, we're gonna dream about the second boss we fought. It's probably gonna give us no items. Wow, what am I wearing? This illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within you. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. See, this is the part I don't like. They're recycling bosses we already fought in the DLC. See what we got. We don't even have a bow and arrow, like they don't even give us one. So wow, they really give us nothing at all. How did I drop the daybreaker? Ow. This guy's a joke! Take this, loser. I can't believe they don't give us a bow. Come on, you pizza. Ugh! If we can get this guy to phase two, uh, I'll just use a Brosilus Fury on him. Yeah, he keeps missing for some reason. Come on. Come on, you little big baby. This guy's easier than I remember him being. Is he gonna, you know, like, come near me? There we go. Oh. Alright. That was phase one. And I think phase two, when I first fought this boss, I struggled with a lot. Not having a bow is like really inconvenient. Where's this guy at? I guess we should equip this sword, huh? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's the one. I'm oh, whoa, whoa. Ow. This guy's annoying. I 
I don't know what happened to my other shoe. Ow. Thank God for Mifa's grace. That's all I gotta say. Can I freeze this guy? Yes, I can. Let's end it. Let's end it before he ends me. Boom! He thought he was gonna kill me. He thought. It's a tough fight without a bow. I'll give him that much. And here comes our uh, next secret memory. Perhaps meeting you here was no coincidence. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Ah, wandering around here and listening to the antidotes about Chambi Ambrosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way separate from my teacher's unfinished song. This is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Nabahorus, which Urboxa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of a champion, Urbosa. Recall Nabahorus's champion of sand. Before she was lost to the land. Chief Urbosa's heart was strong. So the princess came along. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> For our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> huh? You asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. <laughs> Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past.
must say you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. Cool. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. And we get Obrosa's Fury Plus. Champions Obrosa's Divine Gift. Summons Powerful Lightning. Now requires less time to charge. Cool. Nice. Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome to episode 52 of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. It's a blind playthrough, not a walkthrough. And, wow, God, it has been a long time since I played this game again. Like, months. Uh, the last episode was recorded in December of 2017, and today is March 22nd, 2018. So yeah, it's been quite a while, like four months almost. And I'll explain why as we get further into the video, but here's the uh, next place. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you of the trials that will enhance the power of sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing as the previous two episodes, basically. We get the three locations on this hard to see map over there. And, uh, yeah, let's look at the locations and get right into it. Okay, so we skip this guy's song because he basically says the same thing every episode and some of last episode are cut into this episode so yeah we're gonna skip his dialogue and we're just gonna go straight to the first area i find i'm gonna mark these areas on my map and we're gonna go right to them okay i think i marked the three areas on the map correctly pretty sure i did if not oh well i'll find it so the first area, according to his song, was the uh, flight range. I know that for a fact. So let me teleport to the shrine and we'll go to the flight range. So yeah, a lot has changed since the last episode. First, I cut my hair off. Like, it's not tied up or anything. I completely cut it off, so still feels weird. And I also got um, some tattoos. Oh, if I could show you the right way. Uh, this one says... Another memory I seem to be. And uh, this one says 814. Area could I was from. I know this is a horrible view, but I'll put better pictures on the screen. Um, I got my nose pierced. Uh, new watch. Yeah, a lot has changed. I just kind of got into the um, depression funk. There's been a lot going on in my life. Like a ton of stuff. And yeah, that's basically what happened. A lot of crazy females in my life, and a lot of stress with work and school, and Urbosa's yeah, Fury that's is ready. why I haven't recorded in like four months, but we are moving for sure on April 23rd, today's March 22nd, so about a, exactly a month from today, I'm out of this house, we're moving into the country, so yeah, I decided I had to get all my uh, recording done, because this series has been going on for more than a year now, March 3rd is the day the game came out. Which I turned 21 on the most recent March 3rd, so yeah, I'm 21 years old now. So a ton has changed, but I think it's definitely time to finish this series and end it, because this series and game is over a year old now. And yeah, that's pretty terrible. It took me over a year to finish this playthrough, but I digress. Let's get into the gameplay. And I could have swore one of the missions was the, f the flight range. I'm gonna fall. Don't die on me. Okay. Am I supposed to shoot all these to activate them? Whoa, 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 whoa! Rip. Hello? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Someone literally just called about my house being sold and wanted to buy it but I don't know how they got my number because it's not my house it's my uh, parents number I know a little bit weird 
Whoa, did those targets just come back? What is going on? One, two, three, four. What? One, two, three, four. There we go. I don't know what was so hard about that. Here's our first secret shrine. Bingo. Oh, where did it appear at? Did it appear at the bottom, right? Yeah, it did. Can't even see down here. Open up the door. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. The four wins. So yeah, it's it's good to be back. It's really good. It's been forever since I played. Then again, I'm so ready to end the series. It's been forever. All good things come to an end. And what is this? Well, what do we got going on here? Oh. Aha, I see the way in, I think. Oh, whoa! As you can see, I'm so rusty. I'm very rusty. But hey, I see a thing I can bomb arrow. <laughs> Let me get in here. What does this do? Ooh, it turns on more wind, okay. But yes, what have I been doing lately? Uh, basically just working, like I said, and if I'm not working, uh, I've been in pretty much a depression and funk. But also, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately. I'm sure everyone knows what Fortnite is by now, by the time this video comes out. Like. Fortnite is like the most greatest. Fortnite is the most greatest addicting game of all time. There's no question about it. It is so fun. I've been playing with Athan Mike, Ethan Mace 96, um, Jamie. I've been playing with Jamie. Uh, it's, it's a very fun and addicting game. It's free too. That's probably the best part about it. So if you have not tried Fortnite yet, it's literally available on every device besides like the Switch, which it should be soon, according to rumors. Ow! And I'm guessing I'm just supposed to find the four switches. Like this switch isn't on. That's a that's a problem right here. Oh, here's a switch right here, I think. Yes! Here's another one right here. And here's one right here. Here's another wind thing that's not on. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. That's a buzz kill. Wait, I think I see it. How do I get in there? Can I shoot through here? I can shoot through there. Ha ha. I'm so smart. But yes, what I was saying. Um, Fortnite. It's literally available on every device besides, like, Nintendo, which, like I said, it's rumored Nintendo is getting it soon. If you have an iPhone, an Xbox, PlayStation, 
just download it. It's free. It's super fun. Um, PC. It's on PC, but I don't recommend PC because there's a lot of gods on there. And, okay, I made it to the top. And our first little thingy. I don't even remember what this guy was called. It's not a spirit orb, it's something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meta's emblem, yeah. That's what we need. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. On to the next one, boys. Okay, so the next area is down here, I believe. I just warped the Hebra Tower. And I'm gonna fly to the edge of this cliff over here. I think that's what it is. I can't see a freaking thing. Oh, oh it's you. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? I came here because that other tasked me with keeping watch on the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently these days. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the incident with Meadow, I can't blame them for worrying. So far, everything seems fine. However, just be safe. I'll be scoping things out for a while. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through this valley at night. When it does, horns light up. There's something about it like that's truly captivating. Well, looks like we're making it night. Whoa. Is that the dragon over there, or am I tripping? I'm flying over there, dude. That has to be the dragon. What is that? Uh, I don't think I'm at the right place. Because I would have seen a dragon, right? Oh god. Okay, so that storm over there is definitely not it. I don't know why I went over there. I'm looking for a dragon. So. What's up, homie? Ah. Oh, it's you. Do you need something? I already talked to this guy. Ah. So I guess I'm waiting for a dragon to come through. I think. It probably comes like at midnight, if I had to guess. I see no dragon. Oh! I see the dragon. Oh. I see them. We're going for it, boys. Is that close enough? I doing wrong oh I did it hey hey watch me dab hey I don't understand how shooting horns would cause a shrine to come up though I don't understand it Don't attack me, homie. I freeze your horns. Shira Gomar Shrine. Stillness. What does that mean? Where's my bow? Is that? That was easy. Am 
why would I use a bomb when I can just do this? Whee! This is really easy so far. What is this? Oh, I fell. No! Can I make it back? Make it back! Okay, we can make it back. Barely. I don't know why the music played, but I kind of failed that, to be honest. Okay, we made it up barely. I feel like I'm not doing this the intended way. Feels like it. Is that it? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. That was like a three second shrine. But I'm not gonna complain. Resourcefulness and overcoming this trial speak to the promise of a hero. Yeah, give me the emblem. Yes, sir. Alright, so our next task is to go on top of Kibra Peak, I believe. I was up there before, clearly, because whoop, I got a Korok seed. Ooh, what is this? A rhino, bro? that rhino meat. Raw prime meat? I'll tell you that. I see an arctic moose. Boom. Look at that. All that Fortnite skill. So I guess today's comment question of the day is, since we were talking about Fortnite earlier, Fortnite or PUBG? Clearly I think Fortnite's the better game because it's free and I think it's better. I've played a few games of PUBG on the Xbox and it seemed choppy, laggy, incomplete. But please uh, tell me in the comment section below what you like better. And if you like PUBG better, tell me why. You know, I definitely do have a couple of friends that like PUBG better, but I don't see what's good about it. And. There's the core off, but is this the right area I was supposed to go to? Rivali's Gale is now ready. Clearly, I'm not seeing something. Maybe it's not the top of the mountain. I see the shrine, but oh, I see it. I guess it was at the bottom. My bad. I'm guessing I'm supposed to shield surf, huh? I don't remember how to do that, so I'm gonna have to look up the controls. Okay, I guess I never shield surf in the game before. X and then A. Have I really never shield surf? There we go. There we go. Get out of my way, Moose. This is pretty cool. Oh. Whoa. Ow. Of course, they put every animal in America in my way. Here we go, boys. Tight turn, tight turn ahead. Nice. This is pretty dope. Pretty sure you can do tricks too. Maybe. But I don't know. I can't believe I've never shield surfed before. I feel a little bit embarrassed. 
This definitely has to be the end soon. Get out of my way, animals. Oh. Run to the last one. Boom. That was pretty cool. Kaiha Tuza Shrine. Alright boys, last round of the episode, let's get it. Master of the Orb? This sounds amazing. What's this button do? Where's the ball? Where's the orb? Oh, what is this? Can I cheat? Is this metallic? No, I can't cheat. Ow. This year. Oh, we just gotta basically clear the path of the orb. What is this? What does this do? Oh, I see. Okay, and then we gotta do this. I need the conveyor belt. Go on like this. No, oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Haha, -ha, saved it. Okay, it's going down the thing. I just gotta make sure. Oh. Okay. Ice thing? Do we use stasis on that? I think we do. And then we use this button. So launch it. Bam! Whoa, whoa, I thought it was about to bounce out. That was pretty easy. If I remember correctly, I don't remember 100% I did the other first two parts a couple of months ago, but those shrines are a lot harder, I was pretty sure. These are all pretty easy shrines. Your soulsmith and overcoming this child speaks to the promise of a hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our third emblem. And now we have to go back to the Divine Beast and fight the boss again. To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of God as the highly I'll offer this trial. In exchange for Meadow's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through your realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as a merely world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memory. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. 
This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. So we got snow quill trousers, tunics, all that fun stuff. Really no food at all. And we actually have, wow, actually give us quite a lot of arrows and bomb arrows and bows and one feathered edge. Now what makes this boss super easy is that we got um, this right here. <laughs> Well, did I just lie to you guys? Ow! I'm lying to you guys. Okay, try this again. It should, like, knock down all his health. Wow. I'm lying to you guys. Try this again. Oh my god, I'm gonna be destroyed. Boom. Okay, this is not going out as planned. Mifa's, not Mifa's Grace, the, the other one. Uh, Abrosa's Fury kind of sucks. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, Abrosa's Fury really let me down. Thank god they gave us a lot of arrows here. Cause I remember one of the boss fights, I think it gave us like 10 arrows. I'm like, really? Ow! Thanks to Rook's protection, thanks. Wow. Shouldn't this be going in the phase two? There we go. Wow, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. It's kind of embarrassing. Ooh, missiles. What's going on? He's gonna keep shooting at this guy. Whoa! I don't remember this part of the fight. Don't remember that part of the fight. Ow. Dude. Alright, time to use the bomb arrows. I'm tired of this guy. Ooh, made me waste a bomb arrow. Boom, boom, boom. The roots protection, baby. Yeah, we're not letting you escape. No, sir. No, sir. Ah. Nope, you're not doing that. Boom! 
I mean, even if he hit me, the roots would probably try to save me, so... But yeah, that's it. I kind of got destroyed in the first phase, and the first phase is supposed to be easy. But it's okay, we won. We can get I've written a song to try and capture the essence of a champion Revali. And yes, I'm including this part in the video. Because I skipped the first part of him. I'm not singing. You can read it yourself. And I'm out of power read, so I'm a little bit pissed about that. Myself harder. You know, Your Highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all, it will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! I play the biggest part in helping that... <clears throat> that little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, don't come crying to me. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Rivali's Gale should be more efficient than ever. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. The valley is Gale Plus. It now requires less time to recharge. That's cute. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode. I hope you come back next week and we will go to the final destination, the Goron side quest, and get those three shrines done. Deuces.